Hello everybody and welcome to another installment of Mego Museum's Mint Off Card. It's been a little while since I've done this and, you know, money's been a bit tight, but I decided to treat myself last month and pick up a new figure from Figures Toy Company. I actually have a bit of a backlog of figures I want to get from Figures Toy Company, but I only had the time and money to pick one. And it's kind of fun sometimes to do this piecemeal rather than get a huge box of figures. So I chose the one I really wanted the most, and that was Meteor Man from the Galaxy Trio. And the Galaxy Trio, of course, was the backup feature to Hanna-Barbera's Birdman television show. And I'm not sure there's ever really been action figures of the Galaxy Trio before. This is kind of momentous. I know they did with some Minimates, but I don't know if anyone's ever actually made physical 3D representations of the characters. The Galaxy Trio, of course, is a happy childhood memory, Birdman being one of my favorite television shows. And to get these guys in Mego scale is a dream come true. Right now, Figures Toy Company has Meteor Man and Vapor Man available, but Gravity Girl is coming soon, so I'm probably going to wait to buy uh, Vapor Man when Gravity Girl is available. But I will be completing this team. I've mentioned before in previous reviews that I'm a huge fan of what Figures Toy Company is doing with the Hanna-Barbera license, not only in the choices they're making, but actually the output itself is a lot of fun. It's To me, it feels like these are what you would have gotten in the 1970s, and I'm, I'm really pleased with that. So without further ado, let's take Meteor Man out of his plastic prison and see what shakes. So I'd have to say that my reactions to Meteor Man are m mostly positive. I mean, that head sculpt at the first place is a great 3D representation of the character. Looks just like him. I'd know who he was from far away. I also think that the outfit itself, the character design, which I believe was done by Alex Toth, really lends itself to this figure. The, the outfit itself is exactly a representation of what it looked like on the show. Um, the body style that Figures Toy Company uses is muscular, enhanced, as you can see in the comparison photo, taller than the Amigo Incredible Hulk. And it's well wired. It stands very well. I didn't have any problems or have to fiddle with it or hunch them over. When I first saw the giant boots in the package, I thought, oh, those are going to give me a little trouble displaying them. But no, that's not the case. He stands perfectly fine. My main purpose in owning this is to stand it next to other Hanna-Barbera characters by Figures Toy Company, and this serves the purpose, so it looks great. Uh, I'm very impressed with it, and I'm looking forward to picking up Meteor Man and Gravity Girl when Gravity Girl is available. These are a dream come true for me. I am a huge fan of Hanna-Barbera, and I think Figures Toy Company is doing them justice. There are a few more characters in the Birdman uh, catalog that I still need to pick up, I'm not usually a completist, but with regards to the Super Friends and to this Birdman and the Galaxy Trio series, I've been so validated by every figure I've picked up that I'm pretty much brand loyal and just going to buy everything they make in this series. 
What do you think of Meteor Man? Are you interested in the Galaxy Trio? What are your favorite Hanna-Barbera superheroes by Figures Toy Company? You can let me know in the comments below here, or you can hit me up in my Facebook group, Migomania. And of course, you can always find me at the forums at MigoMuseum.com, and we have a Figures Toy Company section where we discuss things like this. There is no wrong way to do it, and I hope you'll consider joining me. Thanks as always for watching. Until next time, take care and buy what you like.